my welcome. We, we give a round of applause. Let's go. Welcome. I'm Brian Vance, a proud principal here at West Seattle High School. I'd like to start off with a land acknowledgement. We'd like to show our respect and acknowledge the Puget Sound Coast Salish peoples, past and present, on whose land we gather today. The Suquamish tribe and Muckleshoot Indian tribe are federally recognized Indian tribes of Greater Seattle under the treaties of Point Elliott and Medicine Creek. Please rise for the national anthem and stay standing for the black national anthem. You guys may please be seated. <laughs> Good evening, my fellow classmates, teachers, administration, family, and friends. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate this year's graduating class. My name is Ami Ducre, and as overall president, I have the honor to stand before you as a graduating student at West Seattle High School. We 
stand here on this day, the class of 2023, after abounding years of preparation and the development for the moment that symbolizes the beginning of the rest of our lives. First and foremost, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to our dedicated teachers, administrators, and support staff. Your commitment to our education and growth has been a vital part in shaping us into the individuals we are today. Your guidance, your patience, and your belief in our potentials have ignited the flame within us, empowering us to face the challenges that lie ahead. To our parents, guardians, and loved ones, thank you for your endless support, sacrifices, and unconditional love. You have been pillars of strength, offering us guidance and encouragement throughout this remarkable journey. Your belief in us, even when we doubted ourselves, has been the driving force behind our success. Today, we share this moment with you, for it is also a testament to your unwaver <laughs> unwavering belief in our abilities. To my fellow graduates, we stand here today united by our shared experiences, our memories, and even moments of adversity. Together, we have laughed, cried, and grown alongside each other. We have embraced diversity, fostered friendship, friendships, and celebrated one another's achievements. Our time here has not also provided us with the knowledge, but has also shaped us into the characters we are today, providing us with values, resilience, empathy, and perseverance. As we step out into the world beyond these walls, let us carry with us invaluable lessons we have learned within them. Let us be courageous in pursuing our dreams and resilient in, face, in the face of obstacles. The challenges we encounter will be the opportunities for growth and the setbacks will only serve as stepping stones towards even greater accomplishments. Let us also remember the importance of empathy and compassion in the world that often seems divided. Let us be the ones to bridge gaps, to seek understandings, and to promote unity. Each one of us has the power to make a positive difference in the lives of others, and together we can create a brighter future for all. In this moment of celebration, we also remember and honor the students who are no longer with us. Though they are physically absent, their spirits will remain woven into the fabric of our high school memories. We carry their laugh, their kindness, and their dreams within our hearts. We cherish their lives, their contributions, and their profound impact they had on our community. As we move forward, let us honor their legacies by cherishing every opportunity, embracing every challenge, and living our lives to the fullest. May their memories inspire us to be resilient, compassionate, and grateful for the precious gift of life. As we move on to our individu individual paths, let us remember the lessons of our past cherish the memories we had created, and embrace the endless possibilities that lie ahead. Whether we continue our education, pursue careers, or embark new beginnings, let us strive for excellence and make a lasting impact in our chosen field. In closing, let this moment be a reminder that we are capable of achieving greatness as we move forward. Congratulations, class of 2023. May we go forward and make our mark on the world. And remember, once a wildcat, always a wildcat. I would now like to bring up Kate and Mackenzie Hooper, my fellow ASV members. Hello everyone. As we stand here today, the graduating class of 2023, we are all reflecting on the experiences we have encountered, challenges we have endured, and our astonishing achievements, but most importantly, the people that have contributed to the remarkable individuals we have become. These past four years have been filled with countless memories, laughter, growth, and memorable friendships. Along with these triumphs, our class has been one to experience loss in a very saddening way. As all of our loved ones gather with us, we would like everyone to notice the blue cords that are being worn by students to honor our four classmates that have passed. Wearing these cords is a visible way for us to demonstrate our love, respect, and admiration for our classmates not with us. Even more so, these cords serve as a source of comfort and strength. By wearing them, we are expressing our solidarity as a class through the losses we have experienced. 
We would like to take a moment of silence to honor these friends, classmates, and any other loved ones that couldn't be here today. Let us celebrate their memory and reflect on the significance they have in our class and individual lives. Please be respectful and silent during this time. To conclude this moment of silence, we will now say a few of the students' names. However, please note that not all names will be mentioned out of respect for privacy concerns. We want to reflect that each individual significance is still here within us as we walk across the stage. Please let us honor and celebrate Sam Seidel, Hunter Dilly, and Leah Bigwood. As we embark on this new chapter of life today, may we take forward with gratitude the moments we were able to share with each of these classmates and the undeniable mark they left on each of us. Moving forward, let their memories serve as a light as we navigate our next steps in life. Well, I suppose we received an honorary flyover. <laughs> Good evening, West Seattle community. I'm Kira Hopkins, teacher at West Seattle. Welcome parents, family, friends, staff, and students. In Jazzy's words, or was it the Batman? Graduates, you are looking fitting. On behalf of the staff of West Seattle High School and all your teachers all the way back to kindergarten, I can say that we are proud of you. You have worked hard to attain skills and knowledge to reach the achievement of your high school graduation. Now, one of the hardest skills you have learned is how to write and as one of your many writing teachers, I will be speaking to you as writers, giving you one more final writing lesson as a way to think about life because it is a way to process and remember it. First of all, writers, consider your context. Looking back on the years you spent at West Seattle High School, the class of 2023 had just joined the Wildcat family as ninth graders when we were suddenly plunged into remote learning during the global COVID pandemic. You spent the end of ninth grade and most of 10th grade at home and online. When we returned to in-person learning, we wore masks for another year and we had to relearn how to have in-person conversations and find ways to connect face-to-face. -face. In addition, we have contended with political turmoil, climate change, racial injustice, grief and loss, as well as better understanding consent you have come through a lot. Secondly, writers, take up the challenge. With all these obstacles, you, the senior class, have risen to the challenge of earning your high school diploma. You have researched and debated, contrived theater and ceramics, 
marched in the band at Disneyland, sunk baskets, thrown footballs, run miles, cheered at state, conducted experiments, solved mathematical equations, read novels, written papers, and studied history. The purpose of education is to broaden the mind and open your experience. You have met this challenge. You will have more. Third, writers, stay curious and do your research. As you look ahead to your future, using Bailey's metaphor, as a river rolls down from a mountain, I encourage you to follow your instincts and interests. Explore ideas and hone your craft. Learn from those who have gone before you. Check your sources and challenge the bias we find in media and in ourselves. Try to learn about those who are different from you. And remember to trust your own ideas and intelligence and not replace it with artificial intelligence. Next, writers, make a plan and do the work of drafting, but leave room for the magic of the moment. In life, we make plans for our future, and you have many wonderful hopes and plans for yours. But this is a time to explore and be open to the surprise, connections, and opportunities that may arise. Say yes when a door opens and trust in the moment when it closes. And be sure to take time for rest and self-care when you need it. Pulling all-nighters in college may seem effective, but rarely is. Try sleeping on it to clear your thoughts and energize your ideas, as was true for me as a student. Finally, the last stage of writing is polishing and publishing. That is like the moment we find ourselves in tonight. You on a stage celebrating this moment but with all the joy of this moment and looking forward, I encourage you to remember where you came from as you contemplate where you are going. I will leave you with the words of the poet, Joy Harjo, the first indigenous poet laureate of the United States, who reminds us of the importance of memory in her poem titled, Remember. Remember the sky you were born under. Remember, you are all people and all people are you. Remember, you are this universe and this universe is you. Remember, all is in motion, is growing, is you. Remember language comes from this. Remember the dance language is, that life is. Remember. Thank you. And now I'd like to invite Elliot Burdett. Yeah, looks like the nighttime sillies are kicking in a little early today. <laughs> hey, my name is Elliot Burdett. You may know me, and I'm not here for the money. I'm just doing it for my homies. So give it up for my homies. Hey, 
we have any West Seattle alums in the stands? Alum, show yourself. Thanks. My Venmo is at Elliot Burdett. All one word, at Elliot Burdett on Venmo. Anyway, on to some more serious stuff. If you ask Wikipedia to tell you about West Seattle High School, you might hear about the 2007 construction of a heated pool on the roof of the school, the problems associated with said pool and how the pool key was crafted out of a wildcat bone. But this doesn't show you what it's really like to be a student here. In fact, when we all walked through the gates of West Seattle High School for the first time, getting into the third story pool was the last thing on our minds. And more important to us was meeting all these new people who we could spend our lives or at least the next four years with. And we went on with meeting the people and even the gamers and the Discord mods left their parents' basements and met people. And it was awesome. Meeting people, that's the best. But then the universe threw a cosmic wrench into our lives and we were left staggering. It's really, really hard to meet people when you can't come within six feet of them. But as I've learned, talking about COVID is cringe. So instead, I like to talk about chairs. We all sit on different chairs. We all have different things we rely on to keep us from falling to the ground and losing it all. And sometimes when some random junior pulls the chair of sanity out from under you, like they did in that one assembly all those years ago, Rowan, the best you can do is hang on for dear life. And we did our class, the best class, in fact, to walk through those gates of West Seattle High School. The class of 2023 is uniquely gifted with the ability to stay on the chair. And that's life. Sometimes you fumble the bag, you total your car, <laughs> the crew votes you out for faking med scan, <laughs> you get rejected, your friend shuns you for a week, all because you prank them too hard. <laughs> You crash your car again, this time driving in the snow. The world shuts down. The government tries to pass a bill to control your body or your ability to love, and you just have to keep fighting with all you've got. Life, yeah, keep fighting. Life has tried to knock us off again and again, and we've all held on to the chair through it all. And for this, we're the most resilient class this school has ever seen. Yeah, give it up. Give it up for yourselves. You're awesome. But I'm not done. Because I had a dream last night that I grew up and I put my life together, that I became a successful astrophysicist slash cross-country coach slash philosopher. And I had a child, and they went to West Seattle High School. And like my dad and me, they had Mr. Ursino for chemistry. <laughs> yeah. And Burgraf was still chugging along too, teaching a push to his 60th class of students. And they weren't left alone, but they were a part of something amazing, a part of something that you and I and many of those in the stands will always be a part of, even though we don't look like the kids we were four years ago. And even though we're about to change more than we can possibly imagine over the next four, we'll always be West Seattle Wildcats. I just lost the game. And now I wake up and I realize that we really have no idea what the future has in store for us. Anything could happen at any moment. There's a non-zero chance that anything could happen at any moment. This stage could turn into a pumpkin. A deadly virus could bring us closer to our friends. That one short kid who plays Magic the Gathering could speak at graduation. Yeah, I'm pretty awesome. And you, you could grow up and do something incredible, like set off for Berkeley. Give it up for Berkeley. Wazoo. South Seattle College. Western Washington, Texas A&M, the Army, American Ninja Warrior, the Cirque du Soleil, the Tillamook Cheese Factory, or the U-Dub. 
And now our lives reorganize as we grow older and break down and everything falls into place and we go our separate ways and life accelerates. We're still the same kids who walked through those gates a hundred years ago. And now our great grand robots learn to code at West Seattle High School. And as we sit back in our dream chairs, someone brings up this moment when we all graduate and I have to chuckle a little bit amidst my tears because life is the same as it ever was. I love you, class of 2023. If you stack the chairs high enough, you break through the ceiling. But we didn't. We broke through that ceiling, and now the vast sky of our lives stretches out in front of us as we go spiraling whichever way we want into the future. Beam me up, Scotty. But once we're up, we can't forget to look back down and remember how we were at once a part of the legendary class of 2023. Give it up, 2023! You rock, you roll. Now let's hear some music. <laughs> but let's hear some music. I mean, of course, let's hear the band them. graduating today. <laughs> Ellie's an alumni. She graduated class of 2020. So this is her real graduation. <laughs>
dear students, teachers, staff, and families of West Seattle High School, before I begin, thank you to all of the educators, friends, and community members who've helped us get to this moment. We're so grateful for you. Over the past four years, the changing world has changed us. But the ways in which we've changed have also changed the world. While the world acted on us, we acted on the world. We were not and are not passive or complacent. The resilience, integrity, and passion which has characterized our response to issues on an individual, local, and global scale is inspiring. Whether it was by traveling to a different city or state to advocate for certain causes, going to serve those in other countries, organizing projects and drives to help community members, leading a club, or making art, we've shaped not only ourselves, but our community in beautiful ways. This isn't to say we didn't face adversity or struggle and sometimes fail to achieve our dreams. But what our time together has proven is that it's not what we experience that defines us, but how we react to it. There will be and have been times when we respond to situations in ways we regret. However, I believe those moments can be invaluable lessons. As the artist Auguste Rodin once wrote, nothing is a waste of time if you use the experience wisely. Regardless of how we spent them, we still have the chance to use the experiences of these past four years wisely. As we leave this place and venture into a new phase of life, we won't be able to control or predict the joys and hardships that come our way, but we will have the freedom to choose how to respond to them, how to learn, grow, and love in the face of any obstacle. Such freedom confers significant responsibility, but it also gives me so much hope for the future. It's because of this that I believe the challenges we'll encounter in the years ahead aren't things to be dreaded or feared. Rather, there's something to be embraced. Thank you again, and congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you, Sophia. I'm Cece. Together, we are your valedictorians. All right. All right. First and always, gratitude. So teachers, staff, mentors, family, friends, and everyone else who has helped us throughout these past four years, thank you. We could not have gotten here without the love and support that you have given us. Class of 2023. People always talk about doorways and how when one door closes, another opens. But there's an anonymous quote that honestly, I like better. When life shuts a door, open it again. It's a door. That's how they work. We've gone through a lot. Difficult classes, day-to-day -day struggles, changing friendships, school shutdowns, and the losses of our four classmates. There have been a lot of doors that were closed in our faces, but we've opened those back up again. We chose what was most important to us, and we fought for it. We built our own doorways when we had to. The challenges we've grappled with are only the beginning of our story. The rest is up to us. Class of 2023, we get to choose our next steps and our next doors. We've made it this far. We can take on whatever comes next, college, trade school, internships, gap years, jobs, the military, you name it. As the author Maggie Steiff father says, although college seems like a lifetime, it is only four years. Four years is only a lifetime if one is a guinea pig. I hope this isn't news to anyone, but we are not guinea pigs. No matter what adventure is ahead of you, it doesn't encompass the rest of your life. It's just one more step to explore who you are and the impact you want to make. Sure, we've 
had some rough years, class of 2023, but we've also had some really great times together. We had sunsets and sunrises, football and field days, snack runs and socializing, programs and prom. And now, as we graduate, we can let go of what brings us stress and take care of ourselves. We can enjoy life and try new experiences. We can give ourselves permission to really live and open any door that we want. Here's to us. We did it. All right, thank you. Uh, again, I'm Brian Vance, principal here at West Seattle High School, and I want to thank you for coming out today to celebrate the graduation of the class of 2023. Let me take a minute to introduce some of our guests on stage here tonight. First off, school board director Leslie Harris. Executive director for secondary schools, Chris Carter. Assistant Superintendent of Human Resources, Dr. Sarah Pritchett. Assistant Superintendent of Operations, Fred Podesta. Assistant Superintendent of Strategy and Climate, Ted Howard. Assistant Principals, Ron Knight and Nancy Carroll. You already heard from our staff speaker, Kira Hopkins. And our readers tonight, Paul Savino and Renee Phelps. Also, our ASB leadership and student speakers are here as well. I'd like to recognize and thank Angela Ferda and Amy Huber and all the central office staff for their work on the graduation program and helping get us here tonight. Thank you. Yeah. Also like to have our uh, West Seattle High School staff, could you please stand? And let's give them some recognition they deserve for getting us to this point, please. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. All right, a couple logistics before we jump in here. Uh, so we haven't done a graduation here in a long time, or you may never have. So after the ceremony, our students are going to go out this back gate here, and they're going to meet you all at the fountain. All of you in the stands are going to exit at the, the main level. There's these big garage doors. So this side, you're just going to go to the main level, exit out those. This side over here to the north side, you have to go all the way around and out those garage doors to meet up at the fountain. So just want to make sure you got that so you're not uh, confused at the end of where to go. Meet, celebrate at the fountain. There is another graduation after us, so we want to make sure uh, they can get set up for that. All right. We've been sitting for a little bit, so let's get our voices warmed up a little bit for some cheering, and we're going to do our last countdown for the class of 2023. All right, so get ready. All right, so I need teachers and staff. Give me a W. w. Parents and grandparents, aunts and uncles, give me an E-S-T. E Siblings and brothers and sisters and underclassmen, give me an S. Seniors, give me an I-D-E. -E. What's that spell? Westside. Who are we? Westside. Who's graduating? Westside. That's right, all right, all right. Now I think we're here. Let's go. I'm gonna keep this short so we can get to the real reason you're here is to watch our students and graduates walk across the stage. So I'm just gonna give you three quick points. You've heard a couple of these before, so it should not be too much of a surprise. Number one, make good choices. I suppose you can define what good means to you, but in general, make good choices that bring positivity to you in the world and think about the consequences of those decisions. Number two, bring your A game. Do your best you can at everything you do. That might not always be enough and you're gonna make some mistakes and you might fail, but we learn and grow in those places. And the third one, express gratitude. 
This is my new one now. I just uh, saw some research on gratitude, and it shows that people who express get gratitude to others are happier. So don't hold back on telling people in your life that you are grateful for them and what they mean to you and have done in your life. They get to know how much they mean to you, and you can live a happier life. That's what's called a win-win. Your high school experience has been unlike any other, and we all know that, and each of you have lived that. And being here tonight is a testament to the strength in each of you and to you as a community. Every journey, no matter how short or how long, starts with one step. So let's get walking. Congratulations, class of 2023. Go Wildcats. All right, class of 2023, if you could please stand. Director Harris. On behalf of my staff, it is my pleasure to present to you the class of West Seattle High School graduating class of 2023. As a, oops, sorry, a couple more. As a principal of West Seattle High School, I certify that each student standing before you has completed all the school and district requirements and is eligible to receive a diploma from Seattle Public Schools. Do you accept? On behalf of the school board of Seattle Public Schools, district number one, I'm happy and honored to accept it's legal. You are graduates. All right, so let's get lined up and get these diplomas in your hands. Let's give us a second to set. Everybody, you can sit down. Class of 2023, first row is going to come on up. Come on up, let's do this thing. I'm not touching those. I'm reading. Hang on. Lucas Evans. Mecca Tyson. <laughs> Tavin Sales. Maximus. Holloman. Yeah. Dallas Bustanobi. Karina Sine Holloman. Tavis Colts. Betty Muhammad. Dylan Roberts. Rahama Abdi Rahman. Octavio Fernandez. Sophia Larson. Nathan Schnurman. Ergy Ali. Brandon Asalat. Layla Bella Noor. Jude. Kiambao and Amy. Rueda Haji. Ruth Gola. Lola Simone. Shailen Fomby. Duncan Reynolds. Elijah and Dolly. Natalie Weeb. Cameron Moore. Anna Russe. Dean Montre. Brady Cook. Addie Wakefield. Roman Centioli. Leif Huffman Nerland. Bailey Walker. Jordan Grace Palmer. Alexis Barrage Green. Hazel May Fosberg. Kieran White. Ethan Nguyen. Elias Ahmed. Jazzy the Great Scoggins. 
Elijah Brady. Sylvia Lamphere. Cece Pfeiffer. Lucas Anderson Smith. Julian Villa. Sadie Strunk. Owen Height. Lucy LeBaron. Harmony Pham. Lila Strithoff. Ty Springwalter. Fortier. Dominic Borges. N Nina Fortier. Ashton Sawad. Carolina Delgado. Zoe Hawkins. Lauren Wright. Okay. Elliot Shea. Adam Medeiros. Okay. William Fralia. Trey Parr. Simon Patricelli. Justine Dung. Rune Hendershot. Sophia Weber. George Barron. Carmen Gray. Dominic Brandis. Pixie Higgins. Preston Ross. Sophia Lopez. Anne Lee. Alexis Weatherby Tag. Leah Stroh. Lola Personet. Ella Ridgeway. Kendall Horgan. Anna Sabo Hutchinson. Izzy Otterback. Aaron Johnson. Okay. okay. Samantha Gardner. Robert Hinman. Sam Palander. Carlos Ochoa. Anna Herkeso. Ryan Young. Naomi Ninberg. Kenai Bautista. Olivia Eaton. Jules Coffiniers. Sophie Stevenson. Chloe Clark. Naomi Skuntz. Maya Sims. Patrick Wood. Awesome. Sophronia Kirk Woodbury. Henry Wood. Stella Rita Sang. Okay. Anton Craven. Teresa Williams. Miles Gio. Tarek Morsley. Max McConnell. Aaron Van Fandern. Reese Dykus Mora. Cohen Shuley. Ella 
Angela Jones. Hamda Omar. Sophia Waldo. Congrats, Indy. Indy Olsen. Yeah. Avery Darwin. Molly Slatkin. Jasmine Bachmeyer Emswiller. Benjamin Freeman. Yeah. Sonam Sherpa. My pleasure. Charlie Chain. Jasmine Dalida. Pleasure. Rowan, stop! All right, I'm gonna do this thing for you. Chaz Bivens! <laughs> Nolan Wharton! Gotcha. Elian Avila! <laughs> Weston Webb! Ryan Moore! Nathan Steppen. Okay. Noel Abdi Farah. Desmond Redaway. Jessamy Kiara Lee Rogers. Levante Jobson. Kritsana Nathan. God bless. Good luck. James Thielen! Mariah Burns! It's been a minute. Colin Zoffel! Salamawit Hobte! Jacob Stockfish! Madeline Tucker! Logan Boyd! Luke Wade. Guy Defonso. Tyler Eisenhut. Hi, Chase. Good. Matthew Reinhardt. Chase Clifton. Sophia Fotong. Miles Gostola. Hugo Coffinier. Calvin Barish. Galaxy Saskill. Ella Flynn. Allison, Allison Bennett. <laughs> Roxanne Elder. Hannah Bonzak. Bella Robinson. Mavina Arts. Adam Parsons. Audrey Byer. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Ingram. Riley. Riley Malloy. Ethan Allen. That's exciting. Mac David O. Eloise Perkins. Trevor Folks. Isabella Coronado. Haley Dabs. Kate Cohen. Lydia Melot. Taylor Martin. Yeah. Hudson Steer. Leah Holgate. Woo. Kaylee Brown. Ellen Torres. Zoe Goldstein. 
Lathan Joblin. Caitlin Malmgren. August Bush. Thompson Whitehead. Brody Curran. Jada Ray Kelly. Aiden Shrek. Connor Spry. I got you. CJ Guzak. Robin Pontrelli. Eli Swenson. Stellan Nunnally. Ewan K. Dorcas Turpo. Jen's for me. Kaylee Tom. Emily Ultion. Katrin Wadrich. Oh. Arthur. Cammy Matthews. Sadie Ward. Okay. Emily Basinger Ramirez. Ava Woodrich. Mackenzie Marie Bullock Ryan. Ryan Connolly. Abby DeWeese. Sean Quinn. Alex Stenardo. Stratus, Shardul Sutter. Awesome. Danae Jones. Ravi Roberts. Isabella Latona. Let her catch up, sorry. Devin Hall. Simon McLaughlin. Take care. Kyle Drake. Well, hang on a sec. No. Oliver Moore. Jacob Welch Pepion. Summer Smith. Eric Garcia Arcos. Cayman Wolf. Hudson Smith. Kean Hufford. Devin Bailey. Nat Nile, okay. Nat Nile Grimes. Ramona Martinez Upton. Raiden Perez. Natalie Immel. Diego Carrasca. I'm better to say. Caden Quinn. Got you. Jacob Anderson. Stella Allen. Adan. Yasin Adan. Taylor Hartstone. Got you. Grace Federer. Isaac Wurzel. Sophia Menashe. Toby Amole. Orion Bahoosh. Danil Lang. Uh. Elliot Hart. Ravillo 
Sherrett. Zachary Hansick. Beckham Calderwood. Cooper Hubbard. Ben Chapman. Owen Nunnally. Rowan Preedy. Sean Young. Owen Murray. Aiden Chu. Gerald Molina Brosero. Theodore Halpern. Tiani Romero. Mitchell Dara. <laughs> Sammy Garcia. Axel Johnson. Alexandra Becerra. Jake Lockwood. Nazrawi Ballet. Mason Callinger. Justin Ryan El Mario. Nigel Bannister. My pleasure. Felix Howard. Robert Miles Kelly. Addison El Pusan. Ethan Kelly. Zamzam Mohammed. Emmy Moreno. Cole Bowersfeld. Zachary Arthur. Marky Vandermost. Rondo Law. Jack Bennett. Briar Gibson. Owen Earls. Lucas Kettler. Okay. Alessandro Zuka. Brianna Lynn. Austin Higgins. Roger Marshall. Cooper Gidry. Naomi Patterson. Brian Delgado. Zayeda Everett. Jasmine Lacey. Umbria Campbell. Kate Hooper. Sebastian Borges. Mackenzie Channer Jensen. Lily Chabene Ingram. I will try. Lachlan Swanson. <laughs> Abigail Jean Clam. Joseph Lee. Yeah. Jacob Liberty. Lauren Ellingson. James Palsha. Sophia Butler. Take care, Julian. Julian Robertson. Uh, I don't want him. Thank you for picking this, though. Esme Jablonski. Anna Clark. Maxine Mosley.
Sienna Wyatt Trar. Jordan, take care of yourself, bud. Jordan Perry Remby. Jack Christensen. Andrew A.J. Greenhour. Elliot Allen. Santiago Cortez. Ryder McKay. Lane Ryan. Ami Ducre. Carmelo Kasim. Elliot Burdett. Hey, Wildcats. How about one more hand for all our speakers, all our performers, and all our graduating seniors this year? Come on, give it up. It's great to be here, isn't it? Um, so I've got my written bit for the tassel ceremony, but I figured I'll take an extra 30 seconds to say something. None of us know what we're doing in five years. I don't even know what I'm having for dinner after this. But this transition will be the biggest transition any of us have ever faced. It may not be the hardest, it may even be the easiest, but it's the biggest as far as I'm concerned. And it's, it's pretty damn scary, and it can be really sad. But it's really just a leap of faith. You have to believe it will work out. We all have to know that everything will work out. Only when you lose that hope will you really fail. And with that, will the West Seattle class of 2023 please rise? All right, seniors. Please join me in moving your tassel from the right side to the left side to indicate that we have indeed graduated from West Seattle High School. <laughs> and now, everybody's favorite part. Would the audience please rise to join the seniors in the singing of our alma mater.